your Lead Left podcast for the week of April 25th. I'm Jonah Schwimmer. And I'm Elizabeth Schwimmer. Welcome back. Now we come to the G in ESG. The governance link to environmental and social goals were cemented by the subprime debacle in 2009. Corporate malfeasance and lack of transparency propelled the need to identify future responsible ESG parties and enforcement. Governing considerations don't always grab the headlines global warming or diversity do, but without accountability and benchmarks, there's no way to track success or hold companies responsible. As one ESG found partner says, Governance is the foundational element of ESG, though it seems the least exciting of the three. Good corporate governance means being accountable and transparent at a board and executive level. The good news is that governance items such as accounting, enterprise risk management, or legal and compliance aren't controversial. Corporate accountability comes through standard tools such as board independence, shareholder rights, board oversight, and executive compensation. Today's complexity of corporate matters such as cybersecurity and social media risks are challenging everyone. Establishing best practice in governance is often a starting point to managing any E or S goals. Those goals are increasingly attached to corporate vision and mission statements, and boards are being held responsible for them. Governance sets the tone for board diversity. It also drives key performance indicators and board oversight for climate risk and sustainability. A whole industry has developed to help companies with governance practices. Accountants, law firms, and consultants all pump out thought leadership pieces across a host of esoteric topics. Article 9 anyone? Along with corporate advice comes investor support. Rating agencies on offer rating systems on how well companies perform against benchmarks. But the lack of agreed upon standards and making ESG numbers look better than they are greenwashing will make it hard to identify which ESG issues should be governed and knowing what good governance looks like. Next week, we take a deeper dive into ESG disclosure and regulation. Celebrating Take Your Daughters to Work Day, this is Gianna Schwimmer. And this is Elizabeth Schwimmer. Wishing you and your families a safe and healthy week.